you say, guys? Old Mike out on the road again. Tonight, I'm heading up to my old buddy Robert's. And uh, we're going to take Spook out for a little exercise. I feel bad. Kind of been putting him on the back burner. Because he, he's six years old. He doesn't need to be hunted. He's already trained. He's broke. He does everything you can ask a dog to do. Been trying to work with Duke. Besides, the weather's been horrible the last few weeks. Only been getting to hunt him about maybe twice a month. But it's uh, 48 degrees here right now. It's supposed to get down to 24 degrees tonight. We're going to go get Spook out. I'm not sure what dog Robert's going to take with us. I know he'll probably take Sis and and maybe old Hoss. I don't know what he's planning on taking. Jeremy's going to try to make it, but he said he couldn't promise anything. Jeremy in Daily Country Living, if y'all don't have his channel, look him up. He's a good buddy of mine. So we're going to... I know Darren said he's taking... Um, oh, his new red dog, Joe and spot out tonight for a little bit. Darren Kennedy and Kennedy crew. So keep an eye out for videos from Darren. Now we're just, I'm just gonna drive along. It's an hour and 10 minutes to Robert's house. Boring, long drive, but I figured I'd get on here. There's not enough signal to do a live stream or I'd be, I'd be doing a live stream on the way up there miss all you guys but went fishing today I only caught one I don't know maybe 11 12 inch largemouth bass all I caught had a few more but they were short striking biting the end of the jig instead of getting hooked I could feel them bump but then uh, that was it so, but temperature dropped this morning when I got up it was 34 degrees and tomorrow morning is supposed to be 24 so we, we got a cold cold front moving in that'll usually shut the crappie down for a day or two next week is supposed to be back in the mid 70s temperature is supposed to be nice that'll get the crappie starting to bite again hoping to be trying to fish on the creeks where I did last year and hopefully catch some white bass and walleye next week is what I'm really planning on. But we got to get through Easter weekend. I hope everybody has a has a good long weekend. And remember what this holiday is actually about. It's not about a rabbit. It's Easter is always fun for the kids, but you know, you need to stop and think about what the holiday actually means. sycamore trees the trees are starting to get buds and leaves on them the dogwood trees are blooming next thing we'll have is the red buds will start coming getting red blooms on them and lilacs will be blooming and when the lilacs are blooming you can guarantee when the lilacs are blooming mushrooms are popping so next week I'll be starting my mushroom hunt but I'm not looking forward to it because the last two years in a row mushroom hunting I start about the same time this time of year and my first mushroom find of the season for the last two years in a row in central Missouri has been on April 20th and those I took a picture of the mushroom that I found and it honestly is the size of a half of a penny so I mean I've got good enough eyes I can see a mushroom when you find one that's half the size if you were to cut a penny in half that's how big it is 
so and that was on April 20th two years ago last year I found my first one April 20th as well but I just wanted to get on here and make a short little video and tell everybody hey miss y'all hope y'all have an amazing Easter holiday y'all take care and be safe appreciate you love y'all god bless take care we'll catch you later